Welcome and welcome back to Nita Price Plant Paradise. This is the place to come to take the time to exhale. And enjoy nature's beautiful creations. Today in this segment, we are going to the sill. I will explain more about this maybe later on if I get a chance. If not, this is this little place is tucked in Bethesda, Maryland. But if not, it's okay. I'll get into it in another video. There's a plant for everyone. We'll help you find theirs. <laughs> That's when you're giving it as a gift, as you can see. They're really good about that. And then this is my favorite message. Plants make people happy. These are the things you see before you walk into the store. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's, it's very welcoming. And now we're going to go inside of the store. Inside you'll see pothos. Look like some marble queens. And I think this is an Aurelia. There's some... Mm, is that Dracaena? Some philodendrons, aglionemas, anthuriums, and a terrarium with some various types of plants inside there. I would like to thank you all for joining me today, and I hope all is well with each and every one of you in whatever part of the world you're in. As you can see, there's some cubria, some alocasias, some that was in the back. And then you have the fiddle leaf figs, you have the teneki, you have the rubble, rubber tree plants. To me, that was a that was a fiddle leaf fig tree right there. <laughs> I would love to uh, have my Freddie get that big. Freddie's going through some things right now, but that's for a different day. Then you saw the Monstera Deliciosa. Here's some more alocasias. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at the back of that. I'm not sure if that's the dragon scale. I don't know the different alocasias. I just know an alocasia when I see them. There are different species. You have the fried egg, you have the, I'm not naming them, I'm just saying what you what you have in that class. You have the fried eggs, you have the African mask, you have the mellow, and now we're looking at some succulents and some cacti that's over here in this little corner and what i like about it this store is you they will tell you what is bright light these are the type of plants that need bright light these are the type of plants that need low light or you know less light or indirect light it kind of gives you a guide and i thought that was very nice and that was a string of turtles a minute ago Y'all know I love when I see a leaf, when I bump into the ass. Yes, my Freddie leaves were just as big, but not anymore. Like I said, that's a that's that's a video of another day. I'll tell you all about Freddie, cause I love my fiddle leaf fix, and I'm I just wanted to move around so that you could see the how this area was set up and now we're going into some begonias look at the begonias my begonias on the other side of plant paradise Ooh, i believe that was a little billetier i believe and here's some jades there's some pots down below that you can buy and i want to give a shout out to nita she is the owner of this store, I believe. Nita, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm telling you, she was so sweet, you all. She welcomed me into the store. She she asked me, she said, if you have any questions, as you can see, the different names, the chafleras that are there. She asked me uh, to ask her any questions, if I had any. And I just was amazed at how beautiful this store is. And the guidance that it gives you as far as, let's say, you you don't have that much light. It says, hey, here are some plants over here. You know, like I said, and there's some Dracaena, some more succulents and what have you. 
And here are some rubber trees, the burgundies. Those are really pretty. I really like those. I remember I keep telling you that every time I look at this plant, honest to goodness, I think of that song as a child. I really do. The rubber tree plant with the ant. Uh, if you all don't know it, I think if you put that in a YouTube, let your children listen to it if they've never heard it. But I'm telling you, I'm sure someone on here on YouTube has that song about the rubber tree plant. And so that's that's what you call motivation. <laughs> okay? That's motivation. Because uh, we all know plants can lift things, what, 10 times their size, I believe. Uh, if I'm wrong, please forgive me. But I know it's a lot more than what they look like. They're, they're very strong workers. <laughs> the motivation of it all. So these are some, I think it was red imperials. Then you had some, I think these are, alle oh, these are syngoniums. I tell you, these were my mom's favorite plant, the syngoniums. And I looked at this and I thought this was really beautiful. Aber Ar Ar Arabica? I had never seen that plant before, I don't believe. I really don't believe I've ever seen it before. That's why I picked it up. Because I said, what is this? And this looks like that star bright uh, Deppenbachia I was telling you about before I got from my sister. Here's a Dracaena. My Dracaena looks nothing like that. <laughs> nothing. Mine is more at the top. I'm not complaining because, y'all, she is an easy girl. I've had her going on two years in September. And honestly, goodness, I have no problems out of her. Sorry, y'all. I was trying to pan over my my arms so you could look down and see the different plants there. And the plants ranged from the very inexpensive. You all, you could pick up a plant for what was that? Eight dollars, I believe. You can go there. You don't like I said. If you don't have a big spot, that just get a little plant, and you can enjoy the beauty that nature has for us. And here we are with the satin. What was that? The pothos, I believe. I always get it mixed up. I always think that's a skindapsis. That's just me, y'all. I'm I'm just all over the place. Please forgive me. And I believe that's some Peru. There's some more Dracaenas. Addisonii at the top there. See, and where it says medium light, I think you can see that a little bit. It it, it really gives you a guide. And I said, oh, this is really nice. That you you want to tell me what what the, these plants these plant types need and i want to say were those fuzzy petioles i can't remember but i want to say that that's what it was yep fuzzy petioles fuzzy petioles those are very pretty very beautiful and as you can see like i said they weren't they were not expensive they were you know nice prices And of course, I always say, hey, you, a lot of these uh, plant boutiques, they cater to the different income brackets, I shall say. Because you have some people, I'm not paying no more than $15 for a plant. I'm not paying any more. And that is all right, you all. That is okay. Because guess what? You get that plant, that plant is going to get, it's going to grow big. You can propagate it. Sell it off some pieces to your friends if you want. I wouldn't do it. I'd just go on and give my friends the pieces. That's just me. But I'm just saying, if, hey, I, I don't, but there may be a law against it. So I don't want to say go for it. <laughs> okay. I think that's some enjoys. I can't see the names really good. Or the jades. That might be pearls and jades or something. There's some lemon lines. Or is it the lime? I'm calling it Lemon Lines. But I hope you all are enjoying this footage thus far. Oh, look at that plant. I don't remember whether I got the name of that because it was big, it was huge, and it was in the back there, and I didn't want to move too much stuff. But as you can see, that was nice. You have the snake plant. See, it gives you the guidance, low light. It doesn't have to have that much bright light, cylindrical. Then you have, uh, what is it, Laurenti Eyes. I want to say that's a... Oh, there, there's the Birkins. Look, you see a Birkin for $20. 
$20. There you go. If you don't want to spend that much, get it, put it in, put it in an area in your home and enjoy it. There's some planters there, some pots. There's some ZZs, Mikans, I believe. My Mikan is just the Lone Ranger. Mimi is the Lone Ranger. And I think that was a triangularis that was down at the bottom there. But these ZZ looks, they look so pretty. I wanted to get one. Help fill mine out, <laughs> as you all know. Mine is, she just does not, she, she just, it was a cutting anyway, y'all. Here's some discounted plants at the bottom there that, hey, I, I don't know what they, whether they need a rescue or, not, or, not, or anything. I just kind of panned down just so you could see it. But go check it out. Because some plants, they may need some rescuing. Rescue it right to your house. <laughs> That's what I would I would do. That's my new thing that I, I tell my my hubby. He say anything, but <laughs> I got it from the plant rescue center. I forgot that you are from a TikTok uh, creator. <laughs> when yeah, he did that when his husband was asking him, like, what is that? And that was so cute. If you all haven't seen it, I don't know the name of it. I'll have to. See if I can find it for you and put it down below. But it's so funny. It is so, so funny. As you can see, there's some there's some lava rock, some Monstera Deliciosa. Y'all, mine is not doing well. I don't know what's wrong with her. I think I have to take her out of the pot. She may need a different pot than what I have her in. She's not doing well. I don't know. I moved her to that pot. She was doing okay. I don't know. And now we, you have some more cacti, uh, not cacti. Yeah, there was some cacti and uh, succulents. Yep, there they are. And then you have some misters that have nice little messages on them. Aren't those little pots, aren't they pretty? I thought they were so beautiful. More lava rock. Some nutrients. Just some coca cola uh, poles. You have the water meters. As I say, more nutrients. Some, some shears. I like the messages that, and yeah, more nutrients. And I believe there were some lights on this side. I believe I saw some Saltec lights. Oh, here's some shirts. Did I pan down enough? Oh, yeah, I do. Because <laughs> I was going to say, did I pan down? I love that. I, sh I should go back and get me that shirt. Yeah, there's some Saltec lights that they have. So if you don't want to... So, yeah, Saltec is still getting the business. So, hey, go there and buy yourself a Saltec light. And of course, the beautiful money trees. Look, I'm telling you, nature just weaves it so beautifully. It's each plant is different. Then you have the pumosa fern, and that's another fern. I can't remember whether it's bird's nest. I didn't. I should have zoomed in some more so I could see. And you have some different. These are the pet friendly ones. See, it gives you guidance. This gives you guidance. Then you have some that are in a terrarium. See that? $5. You can go in there and pick up a $5 plant. Okay. At this time, it is time for me to give you the beautiful thought. I hope you are really enjoying the visit to this location, the Sill. Once again, that is located inside, in, I'm sorry, in Bethesda, Maryland. It is a very, very beautiful place. I hope I don't run out of my time looking. I should have had this in order. But of course, I do not. So I'm just going to probably just give you something. Oh, here we go. I have it. I have it. 
Let me hurry up and get it. It's coming up. Here we go. We're going to do something real quick. Setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into visible by Tony Roberts. There we are. And now I'm getting ready to give you a recap. So enjoy. Please enjoy the rest of the video. And thank you once again, Nita, for welcoming me into your beautiful place. I really, truly appreciate it. See you on the next visit. And also, can't forget, please everyone, stay safe. Thank you for watching and God bless.